Are you finding Home Assistant to be a bit unreliable? Randomly stopping scripts and automations midway through at random points? Have you been bashing your head against the wall trying to figure out why and how to make everything just work? Well in this video I'm going to explain the problem and show you how to fix it. Hi, I'm James and I've been building out my smart home for years with products from just about every manufacturer out there, figuring out what works and what doesn't. Now, let me start off by saying that in the past year, I have fully converted to the Home Assistant religion. It turns out that almost every single thing I regarded as important about Apple Home before was a pillar of Home Assistant too. Apart from one great feature that Apple Hubs automatically fail over between one another with no extra work, but at least Home Assistant gives us the option to back up and restore our entire setup. Anyway, having Home Assistant has opened up a whole new world of possibilities that I could only dream of in Apple Home. From simple things like proper timeouts and announcements on my Apple HomePods, which you couldn't even automate natively in Apple Home, to integrating cloud APIs from just about any manufacturer you like. For example, using the Tesla API via an unofficial Tesla integration to control my car. You name it, if something can be digitally controlled, Home Assistant can probably control it. And overall, it's an incredibly robust and powerful automation platform, which works primarily locally just like Apple Home. So I first want to say a huge thank you to the dedicated developers that have built Home Assistant into the amazing platform that it is, and full credit to them for making something so powerful and giving it to us for free. However, there is one little nuance that many people using Home Assistant might not know about. And I want to draw attention to it because it's a design choice the creators have made, which I personally disagree with. And I know many others do too, and I hope that we can find a better way. The problem is a simple matter of what to do when there is an error. Whether it's in an automation or a script, by default, every action in Home Assistant happens sequentially. That means one thing after another. And when one action hangs or doesn't get a message back to say that it's happened successfully, the whole process stalls, or even worse, fails completely from that point onwards. Now, there is an action called Run in Parallel, which I use to group actions together in order to avoid this issue before I started getting into situations where that wasn't practical too. So at this point in my Home Assistant journey, I did a little more digging and discovered that this behavior is intentional and that there's no simple fix. The creators of Home Assistant have decided that if there is ever an error in a script or automation, that the script should fail to give the user visibility of the fact that there has been an error. Unfortunately, this was happening to me a lot with various different devices at different times. And I always found myself pretty confused as to what had happened because if something broke early in a script, 90% of the script wouldn't run. And I'd have no idea what broke until I dug in through the logs. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm super grateful for the fact that Home Assistant gives us proper logs. That's something Apple Home has barely started giving us and only for basic history of security devices. But I personally believe that if you have a script which does say 10 things and one of them fails, but every other device continues on to do its thing, it's way more obvious what failed than if the second thing fails and blocks the entire rest of them from happening. It's then just super unclear which thing caused everything to break. The former situation would then save you from needing to check the logs at all and trying to move actions around to avoid the intermittent one from breaking everything after. Thankfully though, I did find a little known nugget of information which allows you to override this behavior. But hold your horses, because it's still not ideal. The only way to override this behavior is with a little known line of YAML code, which you have to apply to every action which you want to fail gracefully. There is no global or even per script way of altering this behavior. Every time you add an action that might fail, you have to edit it in YAML and add continue on error true to the end of the action. I've absolutely fallen in love with Home Assistant for so many reasons, and its customizability to suit everyone's needs and preferences is off the charts compared to other platforms, except for this one area. And I think this issue does a real disservice to the platform as a whole. I see a lot of users in the various Home Assistant communities saying that they can't get things to work reliably. And I'm willing to bet that 90% of them are unhappy because their automations are being let down in many cases by one bad egg which might even change on a daily basis. So this is my plea to the Home Assistant creators to at least give us a per script option or better yet, a global setting to continue scripts and automations when there is an error. We can still check the logs if we need to dig a bit deeper. But in reality, if I see everything turn on except for one light, I know I need to go and reboot that light or replace it if it keeps being a pain. 
Now, because I don't presume that anyone at Home Assistant is going to see this video, I need your help because I want to bring this issue to their attention. So next time you're watching a Home Assistant live stream or they do a what the hell month, please submit this issue to them and help us make it clear to them that this is something worth solving. Home Assistant is already such a great platform and this year alone they have tackled so much low hanging fruit that makes a huge difference to new users. And I think this would be a massive win too, possibly one of the biggest. But anyway, that is enough from this particular rant. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something that makes your setup better going forward every day. And if you did find this helpful, please let me know down in the comments and consider supporting the channel in any way that you can over on my website, homeiswherethesmartis.uk. And remember, home is where the smart is.